Hey everyone, this is Josh, M0JMO. I've just received this uh, DX Patrol uh, ground station for QL100, which as you'll probably know, the first geostationary amateur radio repeater, which was launched a couple of years ago. I'm pretty excited about this. I, like I say, just come uh, through via FedEx next day from Portugal. And I was really expecting it to come in a brown box and sort of not be very exciting. But as you can see, this is like proper sort of pro packaging. And I was gonna set up my tripod and everything and try and do an unboxing video, but you know what? I just kind of wanted to, well, I wanted to unbox it myself really. So yeah, this is a, it's Simplex, which I know a lot of uh, people who've been into satellites a long time are grumbling about this because it's it's not full Gplex, but I actually wanted it to uh, go portable with my IC705. Uh, and as you'll probably know, that isn't a full Gplex radio either. So I guess my uh, plan is to um, is to check the Goonhilly uh, SDR to check my transmissions uh, periodically while I'm transmitting um, and make sure that everything's okay. But uh, to be perfectly frank with you, I cannot listen to myself. Um, I have enough <laughs> problems talking as it is uh, and getting my words out right. But when I can hear myself uh, with a you know 300 millisecond delay or, or whatever it is. It just scrambles my mind and I, you know, I stop muddling my words and can't think straight. So, you know what? Most of the time when I've been uh, transmitting on QO100 in the past, uh, I've used auto mute uh, on SDR console anyway, uh, because I just can't handle hearing myself. So anyway, let's waffle. Um, I'm going to try and, uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to open this with one hand uh, oh here we go but yeah anyway like i say this you know i was really expecting this to be uh just a, a kind of diy looking uh, product um but as you can see it's like full color uh boxers uh or box um it, this comes with the actual ground station itself um the lmb which has um been modified to take uh, a clock signal from the ground station which also has gps so everything should be all lined up properly on it um, in terms of frequency st stability, etc. Uh, there's some retro handhelds there, uh, another hobby of mine, uh, or addiction, uh, my wife might call it. I could say like proper, you know, proper commercial quality packaging. I'm really, really impressed with this. Uh, okay, there's the LMB. Uh, Bit of packaging so we've got the lnb uh signal and local oscillator inputs um yeah again nicely you know the this sort of feels like a a real decent commercial offering um what else have we got in here a oh some uh f-type connectors and a power connector and what's in this one Aha, a GPS antenna uh, with a an SMA connector on it. And, ooh, ooh, the main event. Oops, crack it's a little heavier than I expected. I really should have uh, set up a tripod, shouldn't I? <laughs> Okay, we're back. Um, so, it was more difficult than I thought to do it one-handed. So this is the ground station. It's, uh, you know, sort of about hand size. It's, so it's not uh, not too small, but not too big either. Definitely portable sort of size. Um, just a single button there to, I think, to cycle through the menus, etc. And then a rocker switch for on-off. As I say, it comes with the GPS receiver the modified LMB and then some plugs. So feet, uh, rubber feet at the back. Um, and then we have DC input. The F-types there go to um, the uh, LMB. And that one there goes to the GPS antenna, obviously. The IF goes to the radio and the RF out will go to the uh, patch antenna. Uh, so this has got a 10 watt amplifier inside it for 2.4 gigs. 
Um, it is, it basically takes um, the uh, 70 centimeters signal um, to and from the radio. So in my case, it's gonna be ICOM IC705. And then that will be going to the patch antenna, uh, which are, in my case, I'm gonna use two, two dishes on my setup. Um, so this is gonna be one. So this is a, uh, an S-band uh, tuned uh, 60 centimeter dish and patch feed uh, from, oh, I can't remember his call sign, a guy called James in the UK anyway. Um, and that will be my transmitting dish. Uh, and that's just connected to a tripod. Uh, and then I've got a, um, a 40 centimeter uh, max view um, caravan folding satellite dish for the receiver. So there we go. That's uh, a quick view of the ground station. Overall, really impressed. That's a kind of nice bit of kit. Um, I think all in all, it's cost me about 570 quid or something like that, including, uh, you know, the PayPal conversion, um, the next day FedEx shipping from Portugal to the UK, uh, and import duty and VAT. But anyway, there we go. I'm rather impressed. So I guess the next video will be with it set up and working. So maybe check that out in a few days. Thanks a lot. Take care. Um, 73 from M0JMO. Josh.